Hi there, you're probably watching this video because you've received an email, much like this one, asking you to collaborate on a project. Hence, this video is going to go through and answer some of the key questions about this. Things like, what is this client project? How do you get it set up and how do you use it? We'll talk about the access to the project long term and also look at notifications that you might get as the project is going along. So to get started, we're going to go accept invitation. And it's going to take you through to a screen that looks like this. And it might be different colors or different logos, depending on the, on the builder or trade that you're working with. We're going to pause here before we go and actually log in and create an account um, to just talk about what on earth this uh, client project is. So in short, You've been invited because the builder or trade that you are working with wants to share um, documents or um, wants to message you or wants to um, share quotes, invoices, etc. And this portal or project, as it gets called, um, is basically a one stop shop where you can log in, see all the messages, see all the communication, see all the documents, and it really just saves the problem of having to chase around emails and phone calls because everything is in one place for both yourself and the builder or trade you are working with. So with that introduction, let's actually go and see what they look like. And I'm gonna go and create my account. So I'm, uh, I'm creating a sign up um, just as I would a normal email account. Note, if you prefer, you can log in with Google or Facebook, but uh, I'm gonna create a regular sign up. And what that will do is log you in. It will also send you an email um, just saying, hey, thanks for logging in, and we'll give you the link that you'll also always kind of go to uh, when you want to check things in the portal. But uh, to carry on the previous conversation about what is this portal, let's go on a bit of a tour and we'll show you some of the main things that we've got in here. So up the top, we've got messages and very similar to like a Facebook messenger um, message or a text message, you are able to reply to these things. You're able to create new messages and this is going directly between yourself and the builder. So let's just say selections, they've shared an image of the oven uh, that you may have been discussing. You can go, yep, yeah, looks great. Or you might um, add an attachment from your computer if you go and find another one that you prefer. So it's very much two directions and, and um, yeah, we very much want you guys to engage and, and be able to uh, kind of contribute to these messages and and um, tell the builder what you're thinking. There's also sections for things like quotes, plans, documents, um, which I haven't put too much in here yet, but really just to point out that you are able to come in here and at any point get a document, a variation, um, a set of plans or a quote that the builder has shared with you or trade, I should say trade as well. As you're going through here, you will be able to see um, work that the builder has done. So if you've come back in here, even after the project is finished with this builder or trade that you're working with, you'll be able to continue to see work that they've done and re reach out to them should you need to for any, any uh, reason. Um, you know, whether you engage them for another project or whether you need to reach out to them just for questions, um, you can actually do this through the project, uh, through this project even after your time um, has kind of finished with that builder. So that brings me to the, the next point. Um, how long do you have access to this project for? And the answer is that we take the opinion that you, you really own this. Uh, so what that means is if I go back to projects, it's going to show me all the different projects I have. Um, so for, for right now, it's just one project but you might do repeat work uh, with this builder. And that means that you will have the initial project, which could be like a bathroom or a kitchen reno. Uh, you might have another project down the track, which could be an extension into the back of your house. 
And if that happens, then each of the projects will be separately managed through here. As I've already touched on as well, even after you've, your engagement is kind of done with the builder, so um, you know the project has been built, you can still come back in here and we will keep this, this portal open for you. Uh, so that means that should you want to come back in here and the builder has shared things like warranty documents, um, you'll be able to do this well after the build process is actually finished. Now, lucky last point is just around notifications that you will get when the portal has or project has things added to it. So if the builder or trade that you're working with adds, let's say, a new message or a new document or something like that, um, you will be able to be notified of that without having to come in here um, because we'll send you an email. And by default, we will email you at the end of each day if there is something to tell you. That said, if you want to make changes to that, um, how often it notifies you, you can actually come in here and you can say, look, I, I want to know quicker than that. So if there's a change made, tell me um, or check for changes once an hour. So that means you'll, you'll get notified within the hour of a change. Um, you can go twice daily. And all this is really doing is, is adjusting how frequently uh, this portal is checking for things that have, have changed or been added and hence notifying you when, this, when it finds something to tell you about. Okay, great. So thanks so much for going through the video with us. Hope it's been really helpful. For any further questions, reach out to the builder or trade that you're working with directly and uh, all the best with your project. Thanks a lot. Cheers.